Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Ford Type Mickey Loco channel. Today we're working on a 2012 Ford Explorer 2.0 liter EcoBoost engine that has a rattle upon cold startups. So after the engine's been sitting at four, six, eight hours, it's nice and cold. Uh, you go to start it up, and there's this rattle coming from the engine slash exhaust area. It's not a timing chain concern on these four cylinders. It's a turbo concern, more specifically the wastegate on here that makes this rattling noise after they wear out over time. Now, the other noise you may get with this is a rattle upon deceleration. So even, even once the engine is warmed up, you're driving down the road and you let off the accelerator, come to a stop or whatever, you'll hear this rattle coming from the engine. And it's the wastegate flapper valve on there that's actually worn and loose on there. And when you're, you're starting it cold, it's not against the housing on there. And of course, it comes off the housing on the turbo when you decelerate. So those are the times that's kind of sitting there to find kind of flutter in the uh, exhaust gases on there. So what we're going to do now is since this vehicle has been sitting overnight, we're going to let you hear it cold so you can identify with your vehicle to make sure you have the uh, same sound before going any further. Now, the problem with this is it's the wastegate is part of the turbo. You cannot replace it separately. So it's a very expensive repair. And also on this 2012 model, there's a redesigned cat to accept the new uh, turbo. So he has to buy a cat and a turbo out of warranty and the parts alone are over two thousand dollars at ninety three thousand miles so to say the least this customer is definitely not happy so let's go ahead and start it up cold we'll let you listen to it and i'll try to get the deceleration noise uh on on camera here and then once i pull the turbo out i'll show you guys what's what's inside making all this noise let's check it out all right here we go cold start Kinda of hear it in there. All right, here we go. We're gonna do a D cell so you can listen to it. Did that rattle? That's it, that's the turbo making all that noise at 93,000 miles. Not too bad yet, but the customer is concerned about it, so we're gonna go ahead and swap it out. All right, now with the old turbo out of the vehicle, let's take a look to see what's making all that noise. So here's the old one, of course, and we have a brand new Ford one right next to it for comparison. So on this one, the, the actual linkage right here for the wastegate actuator, uh, it's going to be loose, okay? They all make a little bit of movement like this, just like that in the shaft. You can see it. That's perfectly fine. Uh, but this right here is not. You can see all that wear in the pivot point here from it actuating over and over again. As it actuates over and over again as you're driving, it just wears out this arm on here. So that's part of where the noise is coming from. For comparison, here's a brand new one. Again, a little bit of movement. A little bit of movement in the shaft on here too. It's all pivot points. It's gotta be loose, but that's it. And you can hear the difference in noise. Yeah, so that's just gonna resonate with the exhaust uh, frequency on there and make that noise on the cold startup. The other point where you're going to get noise on these is the flapper valve itself inside of here. So we get inside of here and you can see this right here is made to seat against the bypass for the turbo on there. And that, that's part of the wastegate system. So when it's not being um, actuated upon deceleration, this opens up and it allows it to bypass the turbine on the turbo so we, we can drop the boost. So it's just sitting here just like this, not pressed against the housing, and it just kind of flutters in the exhaust gases inside of there. So you can see how much wear this one has over time. This one and the new one, 
little bit different design too. That's all this one moves. Again, it's gotta be able to, it's gotta be loose in there a little bit so you can pivot and seat on there perfectly, but not this loose. I mean, you can just see the whole thing is just wore out on here. And this one only lasted 93,000 miles. So there's a lot of things right here, a lot of pieces that are just rattling in the wind of the exhaust gases and that's what's making a lot of noise mm -hmm. until the engine heats up and then usually you'll just get it upon deceleration when this one is opened up on here and it's just kind of sitting there loose so that's where all the noise is coming from on the turbo um, generally the actual uh, turbine wheel and compressor side uh, there's no bearing failures in there generally um, it's more the number one issue with these is the wastegate actuation system causing noise um, and P0299 codes on these um, for under boost. So yeah, that's what's going on. And like I said, this guy has to replace the turbo and the cat on this one. So it's gonna be a super expensive repair. All right, now with the turbo replaced on here, let's take a listen and see how it should sound on a cold start. Nice and quiet. No noise coming from the turbo. 